your current weight is. This right here is five pounds of muscle, okay? This here is five pounds of fat. Five pounds muscle, five pounds fat. Okay, so I have a few reasons for showing you that clip. And yes, I lost five pounds this week, thank you very much. But if that's what five pounds of body fat looks like, then yuckola. If that's what the volume of five pounds of body fat looks like, then wow. I mean, that's as big as a throw pillow. Actually, I did some digging and I found out that the volume of body fat for one pound is two cups. Five pounds is 10 cups. So here by volume is how much body fat is no longer on me as of one week ago. This is gone now. I'm assuming that the places where it's missing is pretty much all over me. It's not like there's this big crater in my belly where that fat used to be. It's gone from my face, it's gone from my arms, it's a little gone from my hips and my butt and my hams, but we're burning fat in volume here, folks. You know, in fact, I probably lost a lot more body fat than just five pounds worth because I know that I'm building muscle. I don't exactly know how much muscle by volume I've gained, but if you'll notice from the group homepage that since last Tuesday, I've been at the Y three times and they've all been major workouts. 105 minutes total on the treadmill and a combined total of weights that I've lifted is over 74,000 pounds. I've been steadily increasing the resistance and the pounds lifted and or the repetitions for most of the machines there. So I've got to put a pound or two on a muscle mass and you know I'm not a big math guy but if I've gained a couple of pounds of muscle and I've lost five pounds overall then I've probably lost maybe seven pounds of body fat. Is this making sense? Apparently that's what those extra calculations on my Cadillac of bathroom scales measures. That's the BMI number or the body mass index or the percentage of my weight that's the bad fat. I'm going to start tracking that number. Heck, I might as well start tracking all the numbers on them. I just know that before I started this GBG weight management program, my BMI was over 50. Today it's 39.2 and according to the National Institutes of Health, that number, being over 30, puts me in the category of morbidly obese, which by definition means my weight is killing me. I play this game when Kathy and I are out in public. You've probably done this too. I'll be sitting down in the mall and some big fat guy will come walking by and I'll nudge Kathy and I'll go, he's fatter than me. And she'll look at me and go, oh yeah. Well, people, you know what I look like. Look at me and ask yourself, am I fatter than him? Some of you are. Some of you who I care deeply about cannot honestly look at me and say, he's fatter than me. On Friday, I'm going to have a very special message for you and others. It's something you really need to hear. So look for my next video this Friday. Be there.